Hello friends, we take the lecture number one in the steam nozzle. The topic we are going to discuss definition of the nozzle, types and shape of the nozzle, flow through the steam nozzle, shape of the nozzle. The learning outcome to the students at the end of the lecture, the students will be able to define nozzle and its types, explain the relation, relation between area change and the exit velocity of the nozzle. These are all the some of the images of a nozzle. This is the lawn sprinkler where the water is coming out with a higher velocity, water jet is coming out with a higher velocity. This is again a nozzle, the water is sprayed and this is the spray gun, paint spray gun where the paint is sprayed and this is again a nozzle where the fluid is coming out the fluid jet is coming coming out of the small opening. So, these are all the some of the uh, animated images of the nozzle. We define the steam nozzle. The steam nozzle is a passage of varying cross section which converts the heat energy of the steam into kinetic energy. So, in general nozzle is the passage which is increasing the kinetic energy. A steam nozzle is the passage of varying cross section which converts enthalpy of the steam or heat energy of the steam into kinetic energy. The objective of the nozzle design is to produce highest velocity of the steam, steam jet for the given inlet condition of the steam with the minimum frictional losses. The frictional losses should be minimum and the velocity should be the highest at the exit of the nozzle. And these are all the different types of nozzle available. So, the first one is convergent nozzle, second one is divergent nozzle and third one is convergent divergent nozzle which is popularly known as CD nozzle. So, if you look at the first nozzle, the area is constantly decreasing. So, convergent nozzle. If you take the second nozzle, it is area is con constantly decreasing, divergent nozzle. But the here in the CD nozzle or convergent divergent nozzle, the area initially decreases and it takes a minimum value then it increases. The minimum value, minimum area, it is known as throat section. So, we take the continuity equation for the nozzle. Actually, we are going to use the continuity equation, energy equation in the nozzle to calculate the uh, parameter, design parameter, particularly area and the velocity at the exit of the nozzle. So, for the continuity equation, we require m is the mass flow rate of the steam in kilograms per second, a is the cross section area of the nozzle perpendicular to the flow direction in meter square, small v is the specific volume of the steam in meter cube per kilogram and the capital V is the velocity of the steam in meters per second. For steady flow of the steam, m equal to a v by v equal to constant. So, that is the continuity equation based on the conservation of mass. And substituting for inlet at the outlet condition, A1, V1, A1 capital V1 divided by, divide by small V1 equal to A2 capital V2 divided by small V2. And this is the nozzle, inlet and the entry, entry and the exit condition, section 1 and section 2. The substitute 1 and 2 refers to the entry and exit of the nozzle here. Shape of the nozzle. So, how will you define the shape of the nozzle? One we have the here we have the converging passage, another one we have the diverging passage, then converging diverging passage. How to define the shape of the nozzle? For steady one dimensional flow, this st the steady flow energy equation in the differential form is given by this. So, del Q heat transfer equal to dz plus dh plus differentiation of v square by 2 plus del w. So, this is the differential potential energy enthalpy and kinetic energy and del W is the work done. It is general form of the steady flow energy equation. For isentropic flow through the nozzle, del Q equal to 0 and del W equal to 0. Del W equal to 0 because there is no work done and del Q equal to 0 for isentropic flow and for horizontal nozzle, d z equal to 0. So, substituting three values here, now we will get d H plus d V square by 2 equal to 0 differentiating the second term. So, d h plus v d p d v equal to 0 are rearranging d h equal to minus v d v. We call it as equation number 1. Then from the first and second law of thermodynamics, h equal to u plus p v. So, differentiating 
dh equal to du plus pdv plus vdp. So du plus pdv equal to del q. So dh equal to del q plus vdp. From second law of thermodynamics, del q equal to tds. So dh equal to tds plus vdp. And the tds, ds equal to 0 for isentropic flow. So we rearrange D, tds equal to dh minus vdp. And for isentropic flow, ds equal to 0. Then finally, we will get dh equal to vdp. Now, substituting in equation number 1. So, this we substitute in equation number 1, we will get minus V dV equal to Vdp or dV, d differentiation of velocity equal to minus small v dP divided by capital V. We take this is equation number 2. Then from the continuity equation, AV by V equal to constant, we know the continuity equation. So, differentiating this continuity equation, V dA by V capital V dA by small v plus A dV by small v minus A by V square dV equal to 0. Divide by AV by V, continuity equation, divide by AV by V this equation, you will get dA by A plus dV by V minus dV small dV divided by V equal to 0 and rearranging dA by A equal to minus T capital V divided by V plus D small v by and the substituting from the equation number 1 for dv by v, we substitute from the equation number 2, dA by A equal to v dp by v square plus dv by v. So, dA by A equal to, I take v dp outside, this become 1 by v square plus 1 by v square into dv by dp. So, the final form is dA by A equal to v dp, v into specific column into change in pressure to equal into 1 by v square plus 1 by small v square dv by dp. Then the velocity of the sound in the fluid medium for isentropic flow defined as 1 by a square equal to minus 1 by small v square into dv by dp. So, substituting dA by a equal to v dp into 1 by capital V square by minus minus 1 by a square. Now, we further work mathematically dA by dA equal to Vdp into 1 by V square minus 1 by A square. I take Vdp outside. So, A, V, A, V denominator, we take a common denominator V square A square, A square minus V square divided by V square A square and the dA by A equal to Vdp by A square. This A square is taken out, A square minus V square by capital V square. So, this A square equal to gamma RT for perfect gas. So, for uh, steam, we take vapor form gamma equal gamma rt a square equal to gamma rt so now we take the da by a equal to v dp by gamma rt a square minus v square by capital v square and from pv equal to rt from this equation this small v by rt equal to p so this becomes 1 by gamma dp by p a square minus capital v square by v square and again divide by v square throughout the numerator and denominator divided by a square dA by a 1 by gamma dp by p 1 minus v square by a square divided by v square by a square and this becomes dA by a equal to 1 by gamma dp by p 1 minus m square divided by m square where m is the Mach number which is v by a velocity of the steam divided by the velocity of the sound in the fluid medium. So, this is the final equation change in area with respect to Mach number. Now, look at this equation. So, the dA by A equal to, this is the equation given. For a nozzle, dP is always negative. So, the pressure is decreasing in the direction of the flow. Then, when the Mach number is less than 1, that means V, a, v velocity is less than a, uh, acoustic velocity, the flow is subsonic flow. Mach number is less than 1, the flow is called as subsonic flow. When Mach number is less than 1, this becomes negative. So, the uh, uh, actually this becomes positive, right? dP is negative, so the dA is negative. So, left hand side, right hand side is negative value. The nozzle dA is negative, that means area is decreasing. The nozzle is a convergent nozzle. So, this is the convergent nozzle. When Mach number is greater than 1, velocity is greater than acoustic velocity. Now, the flow is supersonic. The flow is called as supersonic. When you substitute the Mach number is greater than 1, the value within the bracket becomes negative, dp is negative and this becomes positive, right hand side becomes positive. So, dA is positive, the nozzle is divergent nozzle. So, the area is increasing, this is the divergent nozzle. When m equal to 1, that is v equal to a, the flow is called as sonic flow. 
DA equal to 0 and this section is called as throat section. So, for a convergent nozzle, the steam enters with the ma lower Mach number, leaves with the higher Mach number. The fluid in the diverging nozzle, the fluid enters in the supersonic condition. So, it is completely subsonic, it is completely supersonic and here it is entering subsonic leaving as a supersonic. So, normally in the uh, steam turbine application, we use converging nozzle or converging diverging nozzle. So, the, we answer few questions from the observation. First, steam nozzle is a device which converts the potential energy of the steam into kinetic energy, converts the heat energy of the steam into kinetic energy, converts the kinetic energy of the kinetic energy into enthalpy of the steam, converts the heat energy into potential energy. So, if you are able to guess option B is the correct answer. So, you are correct. So, steam nozzle which converts the heat energy of the steam into kinetic energy. Another question, in a steam nozzle, pressure decreases and velocity increases in the direction of the flow. Pressure and velocity decreases in the direction of the flow. Pressure decreases and velocity decreases in the direction of the flow. Pressure and velocity is constant. So, in a steam nozzle, enthalpy decreases and velocity increases. The enthalpy depending on the pressure. So, the pressure decreases and velocity increases in the direction of the flow. We have another question. For a nozzle with isentropic flow where velocity V is less than A. So, what is the type of nozzle? Whether this is divergent nozzle, convergent nozzle, the nozzle may be convergent or divergent depending upon the mass flow rate and the area. The nozzle may be convergent or divergent depending on the quality of the steam. When V is less than A, the nozzle is convergent nozzle. We have another question, for a nozzle with isentropic flow where velocity is greater than A, velocity is greater than acoustic velocity, steam velocity is greater than acoustic velocity, what is the type of the nozzle? And V is greater than A, so the nozzle is divergent nozzle. So, if you are able to guess the correct answer, uh, you are correct uh, with this lecture. So, we stop here. So, thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. If you have any queries, you can contact me for any clarification. We will meet again with another video lecture in the steam nozzle. Until then, bye.